Hi guys, welcome back to Software Gear Tech. In this video, I will show you how you can create a form and add it in your page using Elementor, and also how you can add a Google reCAPTCHA and an Edge CAPTCHA in your form using Fluent Forms plugin. To add Edge CAPTCHA and reCAPTCHA, first you have to log into your dashboard. Now here, first of all, I will create a new form. For this, I will hover over Fluent Forms and click on New Form. Now here you have different types of form. You can create a contact form, conversational form, newsletter, support form and email opt-in form. But I will use a blank form. Now it will take me to Editor. Now by clicking on this plus button, you can add any of element from there. So I will click on this plus button and add a name fields. You can use a single name or first name, last name field as your choice. Click on plus again and add an email. Now I will add a simple text area. Now under this, go to input fields and advanced. Here you can see you have two different options, reCAPTCHA and edge CAPTCHA. You can see I am not able to select edge CAPTCHA. When you use your form for the first time, this reCAPTCHA element will also enable. You have to add some settings to use this reCAPTCHA. So first of all, I will show you how to add this reCAPTCHA settings. For this, I will save this form. Now I will go to global settings. Here you can see two different options, reCAPTCHA and edge CAPTCHA. Here in reCAPTCHA, I have added my site key and a secret key. How you can get this site key and secret key? Open new tab and search Google reCAPTCHA. Open first website and click on v3 admin console now here click on this plus button first of all add label i will add captcha now select a version i will select reCAPTCHA v2 and here you have to add your domain now i will remove this https protocol now you can enter your email and accept this reCAPTCHA terms of service now click on submit now here you have got your site key and secret key Copy this site key and paste it here and copy this secret key and paste it here. After this click on save settings. Now after adding settings, I will go back to all forms and edit my form. Now here I will add this reCAPTCHA element. Now click on this pencil button to edit it, here you can add label over this captcha but i suggest you not to add any label over the captcha now i will click on this form name and rename this form i will make it a one and rename it now you have some other settings now i will click on save form and the form was successfully saved now i will add this form into a new page For this, I will go to pages and click on add new. Now I will add page name and publish the page. Now after publishing the page, I will click on edit with Elementor. Now I will add form in this page. So I will click on this plus button and I will add a row with three columns. Now I will add it first column and make it 25% of width and last column I will make give it also 50% of width now here I will search for form drag the fluent form icon here and select your form I will select captcha 1 now it will appear like that now I will click on this pencil icon go to advanced and add some margin I will add 15 from top and bottom and 25 from left to right now I will go back to this column settings, go to style and here I will add some background. Now I will go to border and add 30 pixels of radius. Now I will go to widget settings, go to style. Here you can also disable the placeholder, the text within the boxes, go to style. 
go to label settings and change the labels color to white now I will update this page and preview the page now here you can see your form appears like that now click on this captcha and it will enable now click on submit form and here you can see your form was submitted successfully but you notice something this form is completely blank but when you click on submit it was successfully submitted now how you can block this mpt form submission for this you have to go back to your dashboard go to your forms and edit this form settings now here in form settings you have some confirmation type here you can make submission on same page and give them a thank you page or redirect to a specific page or a thank you page here already i have created this thank you page so i can redirect on it or you can redirect on a custom url but i will leave it to same page here you have some layout settings and here is rescheduling and restrictions you can maximum number of entries you can restrict it to one submission per day here you can see the login requirement setting if you created a form for registered users you can enable it and here is the mpt submission for blocking you can enable it when somebody tries to submit mpt form this message will appear sorry you cannot submit any mpt form let's hear what you want to say now save the settings here is the email notification now here click on the settings and you can add your email application where you want to get this email notification here you you have also a option of custom css and javascript you can add custom css and javascript in the in these boxes to add custom style to your form now save the settings and go back to your page refresh the page now you can see the maximum number of the entries exceeded you i already sent it a form so the maximum number was reached now i will go back to your form settings and i will make it two per day now i will save the settings and go back to my page refresh it and here you can see i have again this form now when i click on this captcha it will give me this tick answer now when i try to submit this form you can see i get this error message sorry you cannot submit an mpt form now i will replace this cooker recaptcha with edge captcha For this I will go back to editor, click on this form editor, now I will remove this google recaptcha, confirm and go to advanced fields and now you can see edge captcha was disabled. Now to enable edge captcha, first you have to save the form and go to global settings. Click on Edge Capture tab and here you have to add your site key and secret key. For this, you have to visit Edge Capture website. Click on here. Now click on sign up or login. I already created an account on Edge Capture, so I will click on login. So after logging in on your site, click on new site button and add a label. I will add H1 and here you have to add your domain. I will paste my domain here, remove the HTTP protocols and click on add new domain. Now your domain was successfully added. Now click on save. Now here you have successfully got your site key. Click on these settings and copy this site key. Go back to your account and paste your site key here. Now for the secret key, you have to go to your account settings and click on here settings. Now here you have this secret key. Click on copy secret key. Go back to your site and paste secret key here. Now click on save settings. But first you have to check this recaptcha. Now here you have option to select hearts with white legs. So I will select it and click on next. Now I will verify it. Now click on save settings. You can see the settings saved successfully and your edge captcha is valid and saved. Now I will go back to all forms, edit form, go to advanced fields and 
drag recapture in it. Now click on save form. Now go back to your page and refresh it. Now you can see the Google recapture was replaced with this edge captcha. Now here you have to add some your details and when I click on this edge captcha, you have to select this horse with white legs. Now select these images with the horse which have white legs. Click on next. Again select the images and verify. Now you can see your edge captcha working fine. Hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If so, please like, share and subscribe our channel and also press bell icon and follow our upcoming tutorials about WordPress. Thanks for watching.